right, gonna get the boat open. We're gonna take a look at some stuff today. Got the solar panel rack. I'm gonna go set that up on it. The back where it's gotta go, and I'm measuring for the water tank that's going under the cockpit. So I got it partially open. Doesn't look too bad out under there. So I'm gonna go open the other side up, put the solar panel and water rack back on and see how it looks. It's a nice sunny day for it, that's for sure. There's kind of the, the water jug and fuel and solar panel rack looks from, from the cockpit under the cover. Main solar panel and propane tank platform is folded in for the winter. And you can kind of see the hook connections it's a set at see it got it mounted up and kind of just duct tape the plates on here to see how it's gonna go this is the one that sticks out a little bit farther and I might have to make these are brackets that I made stainless steel came out of a stainless steel like three inch pipe I have and I was able to get two out of it out of the diameter but I don't know if these are going to be long enough on this side because I want to get out to about the middle of this section here so I think that that side will be fine but this one here I'm gonna to have to make two more and make this cut this so it's longer um, so it comes out farther but that's not a big deal it won't take long it'll only take about a, <clears throat> about a half hour 45 minutes to make up two new ones so but the plates look like they'll look okay. The only difference, I think I'm going to cut a piece of plate that goes underneath. One goes on one side, one's going to go on the other, and then I'll put another one underneath here. But, so it'll be like 3 8 inch thick. And I think that'll handle the load. And these, I was going to pop rivet. I think this is going to get through bolted too now. Just because I think it's going to need that support, the amount of weight that's coming down on it. And this will be a quarter inch bolt here at least here so but you know, it's a little bright out in the sun today even though it's gonna snow possibly tonight and tomorrow but and I did come in and I made out of this bracket here so it can angle the whole panel can angle out now I'll take some shots and show showing you how that works so I had to go and need to measure again for the water tank I'm putting under the cockpit what fun that'll be. I'll show you the upgrades. Much easier doing it here on my front porch than uh, what I did to the rack. The one thing is I had another piece of aluminum on the, the hooks where it's going to hook onto the, uh, the rear rail and I threw bolted them through so it goes through the angle iron and with washers. Beef that up. Really should have been made out of quarter inch after thinking about it. I would have done this whole piece down your bottom one at a quarter inch if I had it. Um, the other thing I, I did is where I had the ring pins that keep it from lifting up is I came through because I was afraid I was going to lose the pins so I drilled holes in the back of the pins and I'm going to put a ring right now this is not stainless steel I don't I need to get a stainless steel one and uh, tied little strings to it so they don't get lost and then I came in and put this vertical piece here and another cross piece to support it so I realized when I hooked up this muffin fan to just see how the solar panels working that when you tilted it up into the Sun I know the Sun's already moved to the west so it's not going up as high it really did make a difference um, so I figured it was worth the time so I decided it definitely was worth it to come in here and put those pieces on there and I drilled additional holes and I'm just gonna do it. it's easier to just throw the pins from in here so I can hit make angle it up to 75 or 60 and it does work and then there's another hole going all the way to to 45 so this way I can really angle it out there so really usually where I anchor up boat a lot in the morning just the way the wind direction is this one will be facing east so this way I so that panel just being horizontal I'd be able to wake up in the morning and tilt that up either one or two pegs 
and it'll really make a difference. So at least in the morning, and um, I won't be able to adjust it back the other way, but at least that'll give me the option. Um, if the sun's off the uh, the port side, I'll be able to angle the tw at least the 20 watt panel. Up. So that's really the upgrades for that. Here you go, some fun time. Now that I'm getting older, is getting down under the starboard settee and looking underneath the cockpit. There's the back of my compass. And the one thing I did do just the other day is just I had this stainless steel mesh I bought to fix my grill like a couple seasons ago. So I finally decided. Since I do get some water down in the bilge eventually, you know how it goes. It had these a solid hatch cover on there. And I realized if I replaced it with this mesh, maybe the water that does trickle down there between not what I can't pump out will be able to evaporate out more. So that's one upgrade that kind of just got done in a spur of a moment. This is the hose for my manual bilge pump here. And then Got the regular bilge pump and the power cord going down. Now I'm fitting for the water tank. Problem is, I only have about nine, nine and a half inches because I got my cockpit table mount that sticks down too, and there are other screws. So I'm measuring. So we're either going 21 inch, a uh, 20 gallon tank, or 16. So that's what we're up and measuring the difference for. So we'll see how it's going to fit. I want to still be able to get to the bilge pump. But I'd have to remove the tank, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see. It's actually cheaper to buy the 21 gallon than the 16, so, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks, so we'll see. Okay, let's get measuring. Well, the 21 gallon's not going to fit because where that angle is, that's the line where I need for my cooler to fit underneath the forward cockpit step and 39 is the length of the 20 inch tank and that comes all the way way out there so the 16 is only 26 inches which the other plus is it would have to go all the way to the end and I have to drill another hole for the for the manual bilge pump so I think we're definitely gonna be going with the 16 and this way I'll still be able to get the bilge pump out and I'll have plenty of clearance for the cooler or if I make the ice box. So, well, I got that decision made. I can get the tank ordered now tonight. Well, as I said, we got the this decision was made to do the on the water tank going 16. The other decision I kind of made, I do have a small stainless steel sink from our pop up camper when it died. And, uh, I thought about taking a part of the uh, port V-berth and coming over about 10, tw maybe 12 inches and kind of making a raise, raising this up instead of sitting the sink into this storage thing because I kind of need the storage space, um, coming in and raising it up and I could put the, the water pump and have the sink and I could do a drain out, it it work out. But I'm realizing, one, I really need the storage space because it's a great place to keep my uh, my little my box that has all my tool kits in you know all the hardware and electrical hardware and tape and all different things and sealants in and uh, and my sail covers go down there so I really don't want to lose that so what I'm going to do is I really just need water storage on the boat that's not in c containers that are being moved all around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here come up and up high, I'm just going to make a little box out. I'm going to angle it so it mounts to the, the interior of the hull. And I can put the pump on top. And just so we can just bring a container around and pump the water out. There's plenty of room on the interior insert between the hull to run the hoses down into the tank. And uh, and this way, as I said, I can, we have access to water. We're not going to be washing dishes in the boat anyway. And then I'm just going to do the fill. I'm going to buy an RV water fill, and I'm just going. That's going to get mounted. Actually, I'll probably go on this side because this side where I have all the 
stuff on so it doesn't stick out on the side I sleep on. On that, just going to get it mounted over here, so I can just fill it with a funnel, the tank here, and I'll do a drain, um, so I can drain the tank. I'll do a T that I still have from my my 11 gallon tank I have, and so I can drain it to the bilge and pump it out with the bilge pump. Um, I realize I didn't say I'm not using the uh, I'm not using 11 gallon tank. I got 11 and a quarter gallon tank from our pop-up also. I was hoping to use that because it would be free, but I can't use it because it's like 11 and a half, almost 12 inches tall, and it just doesn't fit where I expected it to fit. I, for some reason, I thought there was a, a lot more room under the cockpit um, floor and the interior of the um, floor inside the boat, so it's just not going to fit, So which is kind of a bummer since it cost me like $55 to buy the tank. But those decisions made, I can get the tank ordered, the hose and all the fittings, so... Um, between, I'm not going to take the cover off the boat yet, but uh, I'll start getting this project done. I think the water project in the, and the uh, the rack for the back are, are the main projects for this year. Um, the only other thing I'm getting is 30 feet of chain for the anchor, and that's not that could happen anytime. So that's the progress going on so far with Panache, and it stayed pretty clean in here, considering I'm always worried about getting mold. Um, you know, she needs to be wiped down and bleached with bleach water which I say I'm going to do at the end of every season and it never gets done till the springtime so that'll be happening soon after the next snowstorm sometime next week coming so hope you guys are thinking your boat projects and getting them done soon have a good day and the fan I have out here this is going to wind up somewhere in the boat I'm going to hook up I have one in the boat already so I may uh hook the two of them together so I can run them as one unit so I just found this one I must have put it away somewhere in the garage and forgot I had it so this is going to go in the boat somewhere also so that's the news for the panache upgrades for spring 2018 I hope you guys are having a great springtime